Are you tired to fight this mercenary? Does he make you realize you are noob in this game? Is his fast movement make you feel stupid? Or it enrages you when he heals in mid fight when you are just about to finish him? If he made your life miserable and you want to punish him this madman but you can't, don't worry. I am here to you as your pain relief to your pain that he caused in your experience. This is why I brought to you 9 ways to bully our mercenary Sharkriya. So the first way is that very simple. You need to find a scaffolding which is very easy to find. You can find anywhere in the Baghdad. And whenever he charges at you, just use the scaffold. He will be neutralized instantly. Just shooting a dead body because I love to bully him. Okay, the second one is a little bit tricky but you need a lift for this. Again, wait for him to charge towards you. Just wait for him to come closer. Come on, faster, we don't have time. And just use a lift. I did get hit but it's okay. And he will be down and out. Instantly. I think he will be meeting with his god now. Okay, now I'm here using the assassin focus to assassinate to reduce the damage. But, uh, I mean reduce the health. But it wasn't I will. And I got hit there. So, all you... Oh my god, he's too fast. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Be, care, be calm, bro. Calm, oh my god, keep, stay calm, bro. Then, we need to bait him towards this... Uh, break cable object or something and then use a smoke and just shoot it with the throw knife and he'll be down and out bro thought he is the protagonist of this game <laughs> but i am the cannon bro he didn't see what coming and the fourth one is very very goofy as he will chase towards you and just bring him to the execution area and when he does just throw the knife and shoot the alarm bell he will down and out instantly <laughs> he is not that smart right and the last five one we will use some tools here as usual just bait him towards this big oil jar and when he about to come just throw the knife you are such a disappointment he will start seeing stars in a daylight here i am going to use the trap tool and i will place it near the oil jars again bait him towards the trap area and when he does so here i am going to use the parry to stun him and use the whistle to blow the trap so with the oil jar explosion and he will immediately get his piece. So here I will try to burn him with the smoke. So we have to throw the smoke bomb near the any fire. And he will start getting burning. Within the range of the smoke cloud obviously. And, and it is not that powerful. But if we do it near the oil jars. It will be very effective. Just wait a, wait a, bit a second. You see. And now he will just struggle and crying like a baby. And oil jar will explode after a few seconds and he will be down i don't like use fire on the object because you know they suffer a lot in this method but uh, it's fine so if we are using the fire then i will show you the combo between the smoke bomb and the noise maker so with the smoke bomb and throwing after that as noise maker will immediately cause the fire obviously there is a tool upgrade for this but if you keep spamming fire on them they will keep burning and the torture will begin so actually, I I was not enjoying using the fire on him. It made me sad, so I have to Im immediately end his misery. And he was down. Recco as Katin Pache. Okay, this one, anybody can do this. So whenever he will try to attack, you just parry him very quickly and use the kickback. And he will start flying to the ground. Just the way like the mother accidentally drops their baby to the ground. And this Sharkriya is so dumb, so dumb, he himself exploded the oil jars. He deserves an Oscar for being an idiot. So here I was trying to do something different but it didn't quite go as planned. So immediately my brain just hit the nerve. So what I thought that there is a guy who had an oil jar in his back. Because you can see he's dead on the ground. So when I shoot at the oil jars, he immediately exploded and, and he was burned to death. It was so satisfying and it was I was so enjoy. I can't express. That's something I found very unique. <laughs> okay, bonus clip. I was bullying him so much. After using the assassin focus ability, he was freeze there whole time. I tried my best to unfreeze him, but he wasn't moving, like he's done within me. He was like he, he died ten times from by my hand. And he said, nah bro, I am done fighting with him. He don't want to mess with me anymore. And look at his face. It proves like he gave up. He don't want to be mercenary anymore. Now he will sell milk or something else. 
I tried to mock him too, but nothing is happening. So I guess I have to end him immediately. He just gave up. So at the end, I put him in rest in peace, and he will thank me from the sky that I did that job. All right, I have to end it here. I am having a wonderful time with Mirad. I have still not finished the game. I am still on 21 hours. I am just exploring the Baghdad and you trying to do the outpost. I am not rushing to the game like the others. I will say the game is fantastic. I do not care what others say, but this game is remarkably best. After 10 years, we are actually get to play an assassin in an assassin field game. And I am really enjoying the Baghdad setting that they have so much improved from the last 3 RP title. Also the animations of Basim is really smooth. They have added new parry animations plus the combat finishers. I loved it. There are so many things like heavy sprint attack, light sprint attack. Too many I cannot discuss now. So there were some few animations of assassinating which I was addressing in my past videos. And seeing that it came back in Mirage, I was really really happy. Okay, see ya. I'm hoping that you're having a nice day and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.